Hello everyone and welcome to this video. As you have probably already guessed from the title, today is not going to be a Revit tutorial, but some people requested that I show more of what I do at university or like other projects I'm involved in. And I really want to do that because I'm doing so many cool things at the moment that I want to share. Especially this one course called AI and Engineering that I'm doing this semester. So Artificial Intelligence and Engineering. Uh, if you don't know, I am pursuing my, my uh, master's degree in civil engineering at the moment at the Technical University of Munich in Germany. So I'm not an informatics student, but um, in my civil engineering degree, uh, my main field of study is informatics, I think you can call it. It's called computation and engineering. So in this course, AI and engineering, they gave us as a first task this cute little robots that are called Gopigo, -Go, I think. They have like a Raspberry Pi and then wheels so they can drive around and ultrasonic sensors so they can measure distances. And our task is to um, program it in a way that they can find out their way through uh, in, a, in a maze. So they put up this huge wooden maze and the task is that we teach the robot to find its way out of the maze no matter where we put it. And the fastest one wins. So today I'm going to meet with my teammates and we're gonna work on the robot and I will show you everything. And oh, and by the way, all of the robots have like sci-fi uh, robot names. So one is called R2D2 from Star Wars and ours is called Marvin, as in Marvin the depressed robot from uh, A Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I've been talking to the ship's computer and it hates me. So I'm at the university now and this is Michael, my team partner. Hi. We have another team partner who's called Fritz, but he couldn't make it today. And uh, so far we have connected the uh, robot to our laptops. So we can now type in commands um, such as move forward or turn so that it will execute those commands. Yeah. Right? Go ahead. So I'll show you. So if we type in now... So this is the user interface of the GoPigo, -Go. and then if we try uh, put in forward, it will start moving forward <laughs> till we stop it. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> it's not supposed to go off the table. Yeah, and um, yes, yeah, so, but that's already kind of a problem for us. Well, not a problem, but a task because we can't tell it to go a certain distance. We can only tell it to stop after yeah. some time. So now we have to find out, um, like we have to calibrate it. Yeah, how far does it move uh, when we tell it to move like one, one second or how long does it have to go to move 30 centimeters? Um, and also the, um, the, the offset for the sensor, which is just a distance sensor. Um, how long is that? Uh, what will we need to do to correct the, the measurements that it takes? Um, so all of that needs to be calibrated to go forward. Yes. So this is our first task for today. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do now. <laughs> yeah.
This will all end in tears. I just know it. 